I'm Lynette, the soap lady, and we've just finished mixing up the oils with the lye water, and now they're to the point where I'm going to pour it off into two different batches. This is going to be a three color process, and it's something I cannot really stop at, so just please watch and we'll be coming back. I'm pouring off eight pounds into this bucket. Eight pounds into my next bucket, and it's already starting to thicken. Ah, not good. It's a little bit more, but that's okay. Okay, the first one. This total batch takes 14 ounces of oil. This is going to be three in this one. I don't add the color in until I get my green color mixed in. I use my whisk to mix up the powdered colorant. So I think it's not going to do it. Come on. Just get it going and then I can add it by the spoon. You mix the colorant in. Some people mix oils with a colorant. I don't dilute it. I just go ahead and mix the colorant in it. And then I'm going to add it to this one. Use my spoon to stir it in. This, this fragrance oil is a very, very fast setting fragrance oil, so that's why I have to work really fast with this one. And I have to have my spatula on hand. Okay, so now I'm going to add the fragrance oil in this one and immediately pour it into this mold. But you have to make sure your fragrance oil is incorporated into it. You don't want to leave pockets of the fragrance oil. And you can see it's already starting to set up some. And that's partly from the fragrance oil. This fragrance oil is a really fast accelerator so we want to try to get as much in here as we can. Let that one sit 